Hello. My name is Minnie Mims. And, uh, today we're playing a game called, um, Radio of the Universe. Um, there's actually not much known about this, and there's no, there's no description on the uh, Steam page. It, it says to be announced. Um, it, there isn't really much I can say about it other than it's like a top down, very, very stylized, limited color palette, um, kind of roguelite, uh, explore, explore dreams and nightmares, fight to survive, plan and upgrade, take a powerful foes, it looks, it's very pixelated, uh, Awaken from a dream uh, from the dreams of sunlight. I wonder if it ascends into the ruins. Um I'm gonna have to go off the tags to be honest. It says uh, action cinematic, pixel graphics, action adventure, action RPG, single player, souls like uh character action game, exploration, female protagonist. Let's check the con check config. Uh Oh, we're going to we'll disable this slowdown is detected. Okay. Let's put Yeah, um I'm having a guess that this is very um very true to accuracy with its um frame rates and things like you have to be like dead on perfect with like timings of stuff, maybe. I know there's a certain certain set of people who like that kind of thing. Uh, that's the only volume. Trolls. Oh, there we go. Uh, blade, dash, gun, special. Accessibility options. That's always nice. Um, the only listed language is English and uh, English subtitles. Oh, what's going on? Okay, so we got like a sword. No weapon. Okay, it's a bit weird. So are we a robot or? Oh wow, background. So it kind of calculates your jumps and things, that's uh, that's interesting. Hold, hold the down key. Okay. Oh what? That's... Okay, yeah, I see why this is um, the frame rate stuff. Yeah, I, I guess it says like um, it's like this. You have to be very, it's very like time time your your jumps right. Like like you see here, like the flickering dot of grid. Um, it kind of flickers ever so slightly now and again. Uh, I guess we'll go down here, maybe. See, like, we can't. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So let us know that we were we were gonna fall. So. Very, very, very interesting concept. We actually going here. Oh. See, see, we have to, we have to jump over here, and we have to like kind of get it timed just right. The heck, writing on the walls. Oh, guess we gotta run. 
I'm not into that thing. <laughs> do we have to keep running? Yes, we do. Oh god, these bugs. Gosh. Hold for heavy melee. Oh. Oh. Are you dying one hit then? Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. This might be difficult. Oh, boy. Let's move those both open. It's an interesting premise. There's nothing, so far nothing's been explained as to what's going on, and there's been no spoken words or dialogue. Oh? Is this the person? Subway train? Train? Remains of a past life. Oh, it's a girl. Sorry, you missed the train. On swimming? Walking in the lake or something? It's like the beach. Walking out to sea. Landed back here. I only assume that we're a robot because um, I know the sounds it makes when we when we jump, and like the, the like the targeting thing as well, like this targeting system. So can we go down. Right here. It's like, yeah, see, I had to, had to, I have to hold the button. Oh, I just it. It's like, uh, maybe, maybe I can get up here, something. Like, probably, probably the best way to show you. Um, like, I, I can't walk on that. Like, I can't normally walk on it. But I have to hold I have to hold the forward button for that grid to turn up. But if I, again I have to do the same here, I have to move forwards. But if I keep moving forwards I fall off. So yeah. It's like it's like here as well, look. I have to keep moving forward. Phone. Equip device.
you have reached the server, the network services. The network is offline. Estimate your estimated wait time is four billion two hundred and ninety-four million nine hundred and sixty-seven thousand two hundred and ninety-six minutes. Please stay on the line. Looks very out of place. Maybe it shouldn't be there. Anyway, let's keep going. There's going to be more of these things. Okay, as long as they don't shock charge. How would enemies drop XP when killed with exactly zero HP? Oh, and they have like, yeah, so they have like one hit, oh, four, it's got four. Heavy attack, yeah, one hits them. I'm guessing that, um, like, certain enemies will have different amounts of HP. So you kind of have to pick your targets first. And so say it's like a waves-based one like this. Um, it might be that you have to you have to kill the enemies in a certain order because that's how they they die the quickest. Um, this is all I can assume anyway. So I have to run. Yeah, to get out of there. Oh. I to try to kill them, but... Oh. It's another one of those phone things. Okay. It's quite interesting to see where this goes. <laughs> oh. Can you get up there? No, not without falling off. So what's this? Oh, yeah. Her eye, like, goes red when she charges at the thing. Oh, so we kind of have some ammo. Yeah, so look, she's got a red eye. Yeah, red eye is when, she, when you charge up your, um, a sword. Gosh. Oh, okay, so the gun charges. Okay, that's okay then. Just give it a second. There we go. We got hit. Um, so there is like a. So those those targets only go so far, but the actual bullets keep going until they hit something. So oh, got one hit. <laughs> Again, this is what I said. You got to pick your targets. Which order you wear. Uh... You kill everything in. Oh gosh, those things are horrible. 
Okay, we'll get one more go, because I'm just... I was gonna this game a quick, quick go. Um, I'm sure it can't be too much longer. Send me a demo. Oh. There we go. Oh, wait, what? Was a, that was just that was just a quick look at that one. That one's um, raising the universe. Um, you, you kind of get the idea. It's like kind of waves of enemies. Um, looks like there's a whole story to it, uh, and the whole idea is like um, puzzles and enemies and things like that. Which, uh, um, it looks like the whole game is just like this. Um, it's the entire dystopian kind of cyborg, monsters, robots. <laughs> uh, the music, the sound design is actually very nice. Um, I love the limited colour palette as well. Um, through most of it. And it, it some scenes it changed it, which was kind of cool as well. Um, yeah, it's be interesting to follow this one actually. Um, personally, it's a uh, it's a bit too difficult for me again again. Um, I'd probably watch someone play this on YouTube if um, if like the full game came out. But yeah, anyway, it's a it's a good one. If you want to play it yourself, link will be in the description as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.